What should I do today? That's a good one. I've also been meaning to make a teeth cleaning appointment. Look at my carpentry hands. All nicked up. I think you guys need more than this water. Cup of tea sounds pretty dang good right now. Might have just killed this little guy. Sorry, dude. Don't know what I'm doing. Well, I went for a walk, but no luck. Wanted to pick up some beer. Sunday, 10 to 6. They are already closed. It's kind of nuts how much room is in this two, 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 three, two, about like 1,000 square foot apartment. I can't read that. saw some window boxes that were kind of interesting looking, but they're wooden and they are gonna rot and break, so. I mean, I've been meaning to finish up the bathroom so that I could use that as my sink instead of this kitchen sink. I actually got COVID like three weeks ago and um, kind of spent my quarantine time very similar to how I'm spending today. So dinner's cooking, and then I try to cook the popcorn with cheese, and I don't know if I would recommend it. It's looking kind of sad and soggy. I did a knot of butter and American cheese, but I don't love it. I guess for whatever reason, we decided not to have benches. Are they being redone? Do we not like to let people sit? Look, it's a Superman building. It's moments like these that I wonder if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do in life. Am I? This is so bad. I'm so tired. I'm gonna try again. Hey Alexa, play Guan Fai Sun Yud on Spotify. Guangdong, 2021 Remastered by Tina Danielle from Spotify. Mm, nope. Kinda close. Dinner is served. We got some fish cakes in there and a couple of dumplings. Not that many um, ingredients because I actually decided not to get groceries yet since I had so many of those potatoes to eat up. But this will do. So Better. I really like slow mornings where I can just let my thoughts flow. I'm really grateful that I got LASIK like two, three years ago. Three years ago. And I don't even have to worry about glasses anymore. I wake up and I'm able to see and it's the most amazing thing. Gardening makes me think about, honestly, humanity and how you can give each little seedling the best conditions that you possibly could, but some guys are just going to do better than others. These guys are ready to be replotted, and these other baby little ones are just getting started.
I just found out from the internet that basils are an annual plant. And so the one I have in the living room, I've just been keeping alive over winter, even though it was just meant to, it was meant to go and be reincarnated. Now I feel kind of sad. But here's to this year's harvest. I've been noticing that I have these fine lines on my forehead. Oof, I know I actually have always had them. Like since I was 19 I've had them. Because I do this all day long. But now that my skin is a little bit less pimply and acne like because I'm not so stressed out by my life anymore. I gotta learn to stop doing that. And the internet says to use coconut oil. So I'm gonna do the massage and do my coconut oil treatment. And then let's see if the lines go away. Sometimes I also wonder, do we really have to cause some harm in order to do some good? Meaning, am I slowing myself down a lot by trying to do things to only upcycle materials? Because I was at the uh, plant store and I saw they already had seedlings that were like, not even seedlings, they were like plants. You've got me really good at using machines to make all kinds of processes really fast. What's the point of all of this? What's the point of me doing it this way? I'll have what, a hundred seedlings and then what? What am I going to eat? 200 tomatoes by myself? So I've still been like dating and stuff, right? And online dating is still stinky. Um, but I think I'm understanding it more. I think I'm understanding dating more. But it has to do with just keep living your life the way you would want to live and finding things you want to do with another person that you normally would want to do anyway. And another thing that I probably just heard off of Instagram is it's not about the way you feel about them, it's about the way they make you feel. I don't know, I like that. It makes me feel like I'm doing it the right way and it's healthy. Um, and it's just, you gotta, we gotta keep looking until it feels right and it's easy. And both people want the same thing. I ate my dinner and then I've been lying down because I'm so tired. I was on my feet all day, I guess. Usually I'm not that tired, but right now I'm very tired. Oops. Sorry. See my broccoli and my coffee table and all that stuff. Um, just lying here. It's actually googling what is soil, and it's really cool. There's like topsoil and subsoil and bedrock and parent rock, and I didn't know that. I like learning things. Just also lying here thinking about boys, all the boys that I've dated. Um, still think about a lot of them. Think about the things we did. Think about the things that we said we would do that we didn't get to do. Think about ones from college and high school and all of them.
and my friends too. I think about all my friends that I don't get to talk to anymore. I don't talk to really. And how like, I'm probably not going to talk to as many of them like ever again. I just like see their little pictures on Instagram from time to time. And that makes me sad, but it is what it is. That's what life is. You can't keep all your friends. They come and go and you make new ones and all that jazz. But another thing I also wonder is if I've been with a partner all along, would I have gotten further in life or less far? And obviously that's not how it works. You're not just like ahead or behind in life. That's not how it works. But that's how I think anyway. That's what I wonder. I've been wondering. I don't think there's an answer to it.